This is Grow Omaha Uncut, where you can watch our radio show, including what goes on in the commercial breaks. And be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. Well, good morning and welcome to the Grow Omaha Show. Jeff Beals here at your service. Uh, We are brought to you by NAI NP Dodge Commercial Real Estate Company. We're also brought to you by D&M Roofing, Omaha's premier commercial and residential roofing contractor. Well, the man sitting to my right, as he always is, is my co-worker, co-host, and good friend, the legendary real estate deal maker, himself in the flesh, Trenton Maggot. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Well, good morning, Trenton. And folks, we are live here on site at the new Waterford building, the brand new Waterford building. It is part of the Fountain Ridge development, which is on the south side of West Dodge Road, east of 192nd Street. And if you have ever driven by this part of uh, West Dodge Expressway in the last few months, you know it as the building with the big, beautiful fountain. Absolutely. This is uh, a very stately building beautiful office building and it's going to be part of a major mixed use development on both sides of 192nd street and i want to give a shout out right at the front to brad williams uh our friend and amazing photographer if you go to brad williams facebook page he took a picture of the fountain ridge uh, development and and waterford this building is known as waterford at night with the fountain beautiful colors all the led lights make this building sparkle and so uh we're excited to be here thanks to mike homa with r and r realty and uh, their team and uh we're excited to talk about this development and we are sitting right inside the lobby there's this beautiful waterfall feature right as you walk in the building it's a great building we'll talk about it more as we uh, go along but we do have a few other things before we get into the particulars of this new building and one of those things is uh, last week we were at nebraska crossing so this is our second week of live remoting in a row it's our tour a tour our tour of omaha and and last week we talked about new retailers at nebraska crossing airy pack sun grunt style hertz donuts going to be coming there in the uh first quarter of 2022 but some people have asked a couple months ago on the show i mentioned that there's going to be a very big prominent national retailer coming to nebraska crossing and some people have said well is is one of those it is one of those retailers the one and the answer is while those are very very impressive national exciting retailers no there's another big one we're waiting to get permission to announce and there may be more than one there might be more than well there'll be a lot of it because rod and johan are always bringing in new tenants but for those of you wondering from what i said a couple months ago that is still yet to come. We just don't have permission to announce it yet. So, so it's like the ultimate broadcast tease because we don't know exactly when we'll be able to. Um, it might even be a few weeks, but, but there's something, there's a big one coming. And by the way, don't forget, um, if you shop at Nebraska Crossing at all, use that fast cash thing. You can get it on your next app, and you get 15% cash back on all of your purchases there. I just got a note from a Grow Omaha listener this morning. She had accumulated $181 worth of fast cash. And so last night, for the first time, she went to Nebraska Crossing, used it, and she was all excited has all this free stuff. And the reason she signed up was she heard about it on Grow Omaha. And she didn't even buy us a present. Oh, who knows? Uh, Maybe she'll show up with one. Hey, this is really exciting. Um, Some of you know that Grow Omaha has an official baseball team, the Grow Omaha Wildcats. It's a 16 and under um, high school fall ball team. Grow Omaha Wildcats, we are three and one right now. I mean, we've got a good record. And and Trenton Trenton and, and his wife, Amy, actually came to one of the games last Sunday. It was great. It was great to see Jack Beals. Uh, catch a pop fly and out in the outfield and and score a run and and uh, jack and his team uh his buddies they do a great job and they represent the gromaha colors and and our colors i mean it matches the see our logo on all these shirts is really cool yeah it is is cool because i i've after the fourth game last weekend i was sitting there that was the one that amy and you came to and for a split second i'm like whoa that is so weird to see a Grow Omaha logo on a baseball team. So uh, they have four more games this weekend. The guys better, uh, they, they better show up and they better represent the name so that we have Absolutely. something to talk about next if not, week. If not, we're going sh- to talk about them. 
Or if we Either don't way. if we don't bring it up next week, it tells you that we probably went 0-4. No, uh, no this never. Week. All right. Well, let's go into our news of the week, which is brought to you by Eagle Mortgage, eaglemortgagecompany.com. They know mortgages, and they do such a good job of taking care of people who are going through one of the most stressful things in their life, buying a house, selling a house, moving, that sort of thing. A lot of times people will come talk to a mortgage broker at Eagle. They'll sit down with them. They'll get that pre-approval letter. And so they have what they need when they go out into the rat race of looking for a new house. FHA, VA, conventional, they do all of that. And you can find them online at eaglemortgagecompany.com. All right. uh, The first big piece of news that we have to share is that uh, (laughs) demolition on the former Ramada Inn and Coco Key Water Resort is going to begin on September 7th. The fencing has been around the property for a while now, but demo will start on September 7th. We have a little bit of information about it. The the development, uh, the, the hotel will be replaced by a development called Maverick Landing, which will be about 16 acres. And all but 1.5 of those 16 acres, we are told by the developer, are now under contract or have a letter of intent on them. And Trent, this is going to, you know, apartments, retail, that sort of thing. Yeah, a very large apartment complex, I understand, will, will, will occupy a lot of that. And uh, one of the pad sites, which was, uh, gosh, not even an acre... Um, sold for $1.2 million. So that just shows you a a, a lot of demand in that area. And that probably is as much much of a a positive affirmation of the Omaha economy than it is any part of the property. If you've ever been there, either during rush hour or lunchtime and that kind of stuff, they've got to work on the traffic from I-80 going north on 72nd Street there. They could use a little bit of an improvement there. It gets pretty backed up. Yeah, that is an awfully busy area. You know, I was... 72nd is already a six-lane road. Um, I-80 is a 10-lane road there. It's just a lot of people go through that area. But there'll be, there'll be construction. They're, they're going to do some work to that going south um, of that intersection as well. little piece of national real estate news from uh, CoStar, which provides um, all of the uh, real estate data that all of us real estate companies here in Omaha use. Uh, the National Apartment Real Estate Investment Trust Company, known as Camden Property Trust, is joining the ranks of companies that are requiring employees to be vaccinated. This firm has a portfolio of about 57,000 apartments, mostly in the Sunbelt areas, you know, but maybe, but also Washington, D.C., in addition to the the Sunbelt. And uh, its employees, including uh, property and maintenance managers at all of its apartments, have until October 11th to meet that requirement. This is a big company, 16th largest uh, U.S. apartment owner, probably a sign of uh, of things to come um, in a lot of uh, places around here also in business news an omaha-based insurtech do you know what insurtech is i do not okay so you've heard of fintech which is financial technology oh okay so insurtech is one you could probably say it's part of fintech right because insurance is part of finance right sure okay so insurtech startup um, has received $10 million in Series A money. And so real nice, uh, real nice chunk of cash for a Nebraska startup. Uh, they uh, are, are really planning on doing some serious growing, so that's pretty cool. All right, Trenton Children's Hospital unveiled its $410 million uh, upgrade. Uh, this is uh, referred to as the Hubbard Center for Children. You've been driving by it for a couple of years. Absolutely, right on uh, south of or uh, east of 84th and West Dodge Road. They're going to land that helicopter up on the top of the building. Um, they've added some lights. I think it, it it got prettier, if you will, once they started out adding those LED lights, those those soft colors and stuff. I was a little nervous about that uh, the the wrap around the uh, parking garage and stuff like that, but it, it's looking good now. The Sinclair, the Sinclair, Sinclair gas station right at uh, 132nd and L slash Millard Ave that has been kind of a landmark there for a while um, has closed. That will become a mega saver. So a bit of a change there in Old Millard. And then finally, Trenton, you uh, you just secured a very large industrial building uh, that is going to be available for sale. Yeah, absolutely. And that's uh, Nancy Lazar in our office and I uh, just put on the market the uh, Omaha Bedding uh, Campus. It is uh, 149,000 square foot building, only about 5,500 square feet of office, and then plus a showroom. 
but it's it's very visible. So if anybody's looking to buy or lease a large industrial building, right at 60th and Interstate 80, huge signage opportunities, lots of land, 9.8 acres where you could for trailer parking, whether you're in production, um, and they've made mattresses there since it was built. It was built in three phases. And uh, if anybody's interested, uh, give me a call, and uh, we will talk to you about it. So that's 149,000 square feet, right at 60th and Interstate 80, and um, we're already getting a lot of attention on it. Yeah, you can see the building right from Interstate 80 as well. And that is your development news of the week brought to you by our good friends at Eagle Mortgage. You can find them online at eaglemortgagecompany.com or in person at 114th and Davenport. We are live at the brand new Waterford building, gorgeous four-story office building that just opened in the Fountain Ridge development, 192nd and West Dodge Road. When we come back for the break, we're going to bring on Mike Homa. He is the Nebraska president for R&R Realty, which is developing this building and this park. We're going to talk to him about the building, about what's significant about it, and we're even going to announce another office building that will be constructed out here. So stay tuned for that. You're listening to Jeff and Trenton on Grow Omaha, brought to you by DNM Roofing and NAI NP Dodge on News Radio 1110 KFAB. You know the medical process. The medical building is on the other side. All right, Mike. All right, Mike. First victim. First victim. You said that, uh, you said 40 acres we have here and there's land investment. How much is that at Pally One now? Uh, okay. We've got plenty of those next to us. Some of them have a salad. Did you hear your shout out? Mm-hmm. 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 And welcome back to the show. Jeff Beal sitting next to Trenton Maggot of NAI NP Dodge. We're also brought to you by D&M Roofing, dandmroofing.com. Well, we are live in this beautiful 180,000 square foot Waterford building. 
Folks, if you've been by West Dodge Expressway by 192nd, you can't miss it. It's four stories. It's glass, and uh, it has this uh, amazing landmark fountain outside. The building just opened, and we have with us Mike Homa. Mike is the uh, Nebraska president for R&R Realty Group, which is based in Des Moines, Iowa, um, huge uh, real estate company in the state of Iowa and is now making uh, an entrance into Nebraska. Mike, welcome to the show. Good morning, Jeff and Trenton. It's great to have you here at our, our new office building. Well, we've known you for a long time. You've had a, a, a wonderful career in, in banking and in real estate in the Omaha area, and uh, we appreciate uh, your leadership in, in the Omaha community. And uh, Mike, um, so, so R&R uh, out of Des Moines is now um, a player here in the Omaha economy, in the Omaha real estate market. Why don't you uh, start off by kind of giving us an overview of what R&R Realty is and, and why the company chose to invest in Omaha? Yeah, absolutely. Um, R&R was founded uh, in 1985 by Dan Ruprecht, uh, who happens to be a Nebraska native. Uh, Dan was born and raised in Howells, Nebraska just up uh, Highway 275 from where we're sitting. I know where Howells is. <laughs> and um, uh, over the time he's built and uh, headquartered out of Des Moines, he's built a full-service uh, commercial real estate company. Uh, we do land development. We do ground-up uh, development. We do leasing and brokerage services as well as property management for our, our, our buildings. That's great. And, and uh, the... We're, we're at the Fountain West Business Park, 192nd and, and, and West Dodge Road, and this area has really taken off for the last few years. You guys have been planning this for about five years. And, and Jeff, I remember when the, the Village Point Auto Mall was announced by Tal Anderson, who, who was an unbelievable uh, auto dealer and uh, community um, philanthropist and a lot of different things. But I remember thinking, as, even as a commercial real estate broker how how far out i thought it was and now we're sitting at 192nd with this beautiful brand new building and everything you know past 204th and everything else in elkhorn and so this area is really coming into its own so um give us your give us an overview of the fountain west business park and um what the plans for our and our realty are here yeah, you know, our uh, philosophy in, in coming out to the suburbs, if you will, of Omaha is uh, similar to what we have had a lot of success in Des Moines. Um, we want to build good quality Class A office buildings uh, where business owners, presidents, and CEOs tend to live. And so uh, that's why we selected um, this uh, out this part of, of uh, Omaha. We wanted to be on West Dodge. We wanted visibility. Uh, to West Dodge, but um, we, uh, uh, we we certainly felt like this was a good location to be and did our market research. So ultimately, our plan is to uh, get this building uh, leased up and stabilized, uh, do another building just like it to the east, uh, and then we have land along Burke Street for four more uh, Class A office buildings. So all total, we'll have about 580,000 square feet of, of Class A office building out here. Which is a, a very large collection of uh, upscale buildings. Now, a lot of people might be fascinated to know that this building actually already has a twin in uh, West Des Moines, Iowa. And that building opened up, what, maybe a year or two ago? Uh, yeah, just about two years ago. Two years ago? Yeah. Okay. And, and um, I'm over there once in a while for business or what have you, and uh, I've, I've seen the building. And they are uh, remarkably similar. <laughs> yeah, they are. Um, exact same building. Um, that, that building is 93% uh, leased up and has been a, a great success for us over in West Des Moines. Tell us what you, what's unique about the Waterford. It's a Class A office building. We talked about 180,000 square feet, four stories, iconic building, but it, it, it's, it's different. And, and it, it stands alone in, in how, you, how you designed it and how you set it up. Yeah, the, um, uh, the thought process behind the design of the building is we have two 80,000 square foot wings that's connected by a 20,000 square foot uh, building that uh, the, the connector building holds amenities for all of the tenants in the wings to use. So we have a very large, very large gathering room that tenants can 
can use for training, for client entertainment purposes, for community type events. Um, you can hold up to a couple hundred people in that space. We have executive boardrooms. We have fit, a full uh, service fitness center with showers and locker rooms, a Starbucks cafe. Um, we really wanted to bring amenities for the tenants to use so that they maybe didn't have to take so much square footage uh, in their own spaces. They can share those amenities with other tenants of the property. And uh, we're talking with uh, Mike Homa. He's the Nebraska president for R&R Realty out of Des Moines. And uh, this is not the only uh, project that your company is doing here in the metro area. Uh, R&R has uh, four very nice, very large warehouses either completed or under construction near Highway 370 and Highway 50, 144th Street. Mike, can you tell us about that project? Yes, yeah, so we um, started R&R Commerce Park. Uh, our first building was completed in December of 2018. Uh, we since have built and leased uh, 800,000 square feet of Class A uh, industrial warehouse buildings and have our fourth one underway, and that'll take us up to just over a million square feet. And, and you're, you're right in the heart of the data centers, and, and you didn't know all that stuff was going there at the time. You knew it was a gr great location, right? Yeah, that corridor has great access to Interstate 80, and, and you know, just with all the changes in, in how product and materials and just logistics in general uh, have changed over the last few years and we're all getting things delivered to our front porch instead of product being delivered to to uh, other retail type locations which certainly still happens but uh, we just felt that corridor was was ideal and that's proven out we're we're leasing up our buildings just as fast as we're building them yeah that the industrial growth on both the 370 and the highway 50 corridors is um you know, mind-boggling, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, when you think of the, the millions and millions of square feet down there. Yeah. Well, we just announced last week on the show that 500,000 square foot distribution center for FedEx is not just a stone's throw from your buildings. Right right next door, actually. It is. I, yeah. I, I've got to ask, this, this amazing fountain that we're looking at, and, it, and ladies and gentlemen, if you hear some background water, there is a, also a, a water wall in the lobby where, where we're broadcasting from and you can hear it it's very peaceful and tranquil so if, if we not offer something that's because of the, <laughs> the the nice sound and back water is a big part of the waterford building and and fountain ridge and, and so this huge fountain that people need to drive by and, and take a look at give us the story on that well uh, typically we put amenities like uh, this fountain um, within our parks. Um, we really felt like, and it was important for uh, our owner to uh, help the community of Omaha know and understand that that uh, we want to be a big part of, of Omaha and, and the community. And so um, he made the decision that let's put this beautiful water feature out along Dodge Street for the 30, 40,000 cars a day that are driving past it. Um, let's let Omaha enjoy it. Um, and so what we have is a fountain that in diameter is 34 feet, uh, 16 feet tall, and carries about 7,500 gallons of water. <laughs> Not your average aquarium. No. <laughs> it is beautiful. It's beautiful it's at nice night. nice pond around it as well. Yeah. Hey, before we go to the break, though, we want to uh, drop a big announcement. We have a, a major real estate construction announcement that Mike is going to make right here on Groma. Yes, you will hear it first, um, and very happy to make this announcement uh, with Trenton and Jeff here at our building. But R&R um, &R and MD West One uh, have partnered to uh, develop a 38,000 square foot medical office building that will be on the west side of 192nd Street on land that R&R &R, uh, owns. And when would the construction on that likely begin? Uh, construction will begin uh, yet this fall uh, with site prep and utilities and even footings and foundations and uh, with an expected completion the first quarter of 2023. And what is MD1? Uh, MD West 1 is a regional leader in, in everything skeletal, head, uh, head to toe, toe to head, um, orthopedic work, um, neurology, um, spine, 
they're really uh, very, very well known and respected throughout the region for the quality of work they do. So R and R is is very excited to uh, be partnering with with a leader like that. And there you have another thirty eight thousand square foot office building coming to the West Dodge Corridor. Um, Mike, appreciate you joining us. We're going to take our middle of the hour break, but we're going to have you hang on with us. But when we come back, we're going to bring on Alyssa Nelson. She is design manager for R and R Realty and is going to talk about some of the very unique architectural aspects and amenity aspects of this building some of which you won't really find elsewhere in the metro area. So much more to come. Of course, later in the show, we have our lightning round. You don't want to miss any of this. We are live on location at the new Waterford Building in Fountain Ridge, which is near 192nd and West Dodge Road. You're listening to Grow Omaha, brought to you by D&M Roofing and NAI NP Dodge. Back in a moment on News Radio 1110 KFAB. Nice so we call this, an, uh, and we're still on our YouTube channel. This will still be on. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. no ball yeah. jokes or anything like that. So don't say anything too crazy. Yeah. Why don't we have a mic over here? And then let's take Mike's mic. Um, since you'll be doing most of the talking on this one. All right. And then, and then if there's anything, Mike, that you want to jump in, you can just grab it out. Okay. Uh, 
trailer for it. But we did this uh, Thursday, so the lease for the last space we had for our city. Okay. On the third really? Yeah. Okay. And that's one of the Is fourth garden yet? Yes. Yep. Darling or yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Start seeing next month the walls. Yeah. So it's one point two million total? Uh, one one of here is six. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, can, can I get Brad all your contact information? Yes. Okay. And you can, uh, I'll give, uh, I'll uh, give yours. Okay. It, 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 I'll give you that too. Can we share? Share. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. Craig, what? I meant to, I meant to say sure. They're, uh, we're buddies, uh, good friends of ours. Uh, yeah. 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 Sixth one in the country or something like that. Yeah. And uh, how are we on time? We have about a minute. And, uh, and it's my understanding that people come to me with it. Only if you want what, what, what's, what's your new address here for your office? One, eight, one, what's that? One, eight, eight, one, three, eight. Totally out. Oh, you got what's that? Oh, that's awesome. I have to keep this one on just like the door. And then I wear them uh, during just in case. Sweet. One hundred. 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 <laughs> Does your husband still survive? I don't know. I haven't gotten any text messages. So. <laughs> Good sign. You must be right. okay. Not going to That's right. <laughs> Alrighty. Here we go, people. Work with me. I'll work with you. And back on the air, Grow Omaha, brought to you by DNM Roofing and NAI NP Dodge Commercial Real Estate Company. We are live in the new 180,000 square foot Waterford building at the Fountain Ridge Development in West Omaha. We do want to mention, though, that uh, this is where we have our real estate development spotlight sponsored by Noddle Companies. Uh, last week, Trent and I talked to you about a new development uh, going on that Nala Companies is involved in 144th Street, uh, southwest of 144th and Chandler Road in the Chalco area, 200,000 square feet of industrial space on about 56 acres. And um, so that's something we're going to keep our eye on. And it looks like we're going to start to see some site grading there pretty soon. Just to the north of that, there's also a very large assisted living complex that a lot of our listeners have asked about. You know, they say, what is that? What is that? So kind of assisted living, senior living, a little bit of memory care, but it's pretty sizable. Um, so that whole area, we're starting to see some infill there. And we call it infill because to the south um, is where, you know, we were talking about the R&R &R warehouses a little bit to the south. So that whole corridor is really starting to, to fill in in that area. And that is your real estate development spotlight brought to you by Noddle Companies. Noddle Companies is an Omaha-based full-service real estate development company and can be reached at noddlecompanies.com. Well, like I said, we are at r, &R Realty's brand-new Waterford building, and we're going to bring in r, &R s designer. Uh, her name is Alyssa Nelson, and Alyssa was kind enough to drive all the way over here from Des Moines this morning. Alyssa, you don't seem tired. A lot of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of coffee. And thank you for your husband and kids for uh, dropping you off and, and making the, the trip with you. Absolutely. I hope he's surviving. Because <laughs> <laughs> you got a little one in the car. I do, yes. Yeah. Well, this building is beautiful. And, uh, and so I had the, Mike gave me a tour a few days ago, had a chance to see it. But uh, kudos to you and your team. I mean, uh, it's gorgeous. Thank you. So what's unique about the design in this building, Melissa? 
Oh, gosh. Uh, where do we start? So as Mike had mentioned earlier, amenities were really the key focal point of this building um, and creating that central amenity hub. So one of the biggest things uh, around attraction and retention, which is clearly a top of everyone's mind today, um, especially considering the pandemic we've been in, is being able to offer these types of amenities to your employees. And the Waterford building supplies these amenities to our tenants without requiring them to build them out within their own space. So it really does help them save on their own square footage by us providing it to them. And one of those amenities um, is a very nice kind of large meeting room, almost classroom in, in what looks like kind of an atrium, um, really nice boardroom right to um, uh, the, the adjacent to that right off the uh, uh, the main welcoming lobby. Um, it's all pretty impressive. And then I have to say, one of the coolest aspects of the building is the uh, autonomous, 100% technology-driven Starbucks store off to the side of the lobby. That's pretty cool. I have to admit, that's my favorite amenity as well, hence my um, lot of coffee comment earlier. <laughs> And, and no uh, attitude or, or, or waiting uh, for a barista either. It's like the, the machine, the machine takes care of it. You know, like most Class A office buildings, Alyssa, you have, um, under, you, know, you have garage parking as well as mm -hmm. plenty of surface parking. You have um, four stories. But this building, architecturally, not just the fountain and everything, but... but the glass and steel, is, 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 it's very unique. And, and give us a little idea on the, the shape and, and design. Right. So it all comes down to that central hub and um, the fact that the spaces radi radiate out from the central hub where we keep most of the amenities here. Uh, one of the things that I think has really helped us is uh, with the twin that we built over in Des Moines, the Westfield building, uh, over there, we were a little bit ahead of our time by focusing on health and wellness and how the amenities lay out based on that, as well as the finishes within the space. So we really utilized the well building standard as a roadmap, essentially, as we were designing and developing the Westfield building. And then from there, we're able to tweak it so that uh, as the COVID pandemic came about. We were midway through construction with the Waterford building and we're able to implement even more of those tactics and strategies into this space. So, so this morning we went through the, the, the workout facility that has beautiful views with, with water outside and you can really see the outside amenities and with showers and all that kind of stuff. What else defines the healthy aspect of this building? Oh, sure. So um, as you'll notice, we have a lot of uh, touch-free sensors throughout. So lights will come on automatically. You don't have to touch the doorways. Um, a few of the other things that are a little bit more behind the scenes are we have constant monitoring going on. So it alerts our management professionals if there is an issue with HVAC, um, if a space is more highly trafficked than others and may need to be a little bit more cleaned. Uh, some of the other things, and I'm, I'm glad you mentioned water, is we wanted to really pay attention to how healthy does a building feel. Um, not only is actual physical safety important, but psychological well-being is also important. So one of the key ways to do that is to bring in nature to a building. So that's why you'll notice a lot of plantings, a lot of water throughout the space um, and the exterior space. We have a very walkable campus, beautiful artwork. In fact, we do have some original art pieces from a local Omaha artist uh, that we're going to be installing here within the next couple of weeks as well. So, Very cool. Now, Trenton mentioned earlier about the uh, Brad Williams photograph of this Waterford building taken what looks like at dusk or something like that. That's now available on the Grow Omaha Facebook page if you want to take a look at it. We have another minute here with Alyssa Nelson, design manager for r, &R Realty, uh, talking about this Waterford building. And earlier, Alyssa, you said uh, design has an effect on attraction and retention, mm -hmm. um, employee attraction and retention. Tell us a little bit more about what that means to you and, and, and how buildings like this use design to be more desirable to employees. 
Oh, for sure. Um, flexibility right now, especially, is one of the key components of attraction and retention. And the Waterford Building does a great job of offering that because we offer a multitude of different types of spaces for people. So if somebody wants to have the flexibility to work outside, we can support that. If they want to work in a coffee house setting, we can support that as well. If they want to socialize or work out or even relax, we have spaces that can support all of those um, different modes of working, which that means tenants don't then have to implement into their own space. And if people are, by the way, before we go, if people are thinking about checking out this building as a possible uh, location for their office, when you take the tour, ask Mike or Alyssa or whoever gives you the tour to see the third floor outdoor terrace. You got these fire pits up there. Yes. That's amazing. Thank you. Great place to have a beer after work. Yeah, sign me up. All right. Alyssa, appreciate you joining us. Thanks for coming over from Des Moines. I understand you and your family are going to go hit the Henry Dorley Zoo after this. We sure are if we don't melt to death. I hope you don't. Yeah, but they have some <laughs> indoor stuff with air conditioning. You Thank should goodness. be okay. Thanks for coming over from Des Moines Thank today you. and spending time with us. Mike, I appreciate you. Thank you for hosting us today. Well, really appreciate you being here and, and uh, spending some time with us today. Yeah, it's uh, so nice to see a brand new building. And, and we're not done with the show yet, but we have the lightning round coming up. But, but that's Mike Homa, president uh, of the Nebraska Division of R&R Realty, uh, landlord and developer of this beautiful building. So going to take our final break of the hour. When we come back, it is the lightning round brought to you by Turner Construction. I'm looking at the list. A lot of stuff. You're going to love it. Stay with us. You're listening to Jeff and Trenton on Grow Omaha, brought to you by DNM Roofing and NAI NP Dodge on News Radio 1110 KFAB. Okay, Scott, what time, uh, what time will the out music start playing today? Well done, Jeff. I told you she was 56 shots. Oh, Rachel had just thought of the music. The radio had a shelf life, and people will say, for, for a month, people will say, I heard you have a radio last week, and it'll be like two months from now, or whatever. Like, it's just yeah. weird. Yeah. Huh? yeah, you'll have you'll have people, yeah. uh, maybe not so much on the morning, but you will have lots of people constantly bringing it up. Yeah. Good? Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. we had about 12,000 listeners. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's a big, it's a big audience. I mean, if you figured 12,000 people all in one arena. I think more important is to figure out the business. A lot of our competition is friendly competitors, competitors, but industry people and, and business people. And so, you know, we love it. However many listeners we have, we like the quality of the listeners. And, and right. people, decision makers. And business so, owners, decision makers, they all listen. And over the last couple of years, we've really uh, we've got stepped it up with the social media and um, the, the YouTube and all that kind of stuff. That's great. You can make sure we sound good. I love how we get our humor. I think we can do the show. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, it's got just four likes. We've got, oh, eight likes now. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Have another friend. And then, where is, is this up down the Facebook page? Uh, the, the show or okay. the video? Yeah. Yeah. The video. It'll, 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 it'll be on the YouTube channel. Yeah. So, it'll be on roll.com and subscribe to YouTube channel. Yeah. It takes a we also, hard to we also post it uh, um, um, on Roma Facebook page from link to the website. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll yeah. We promote it pretty heavily. Oh, and it'll also, usually I think Brad puts it on the Instagram and yeah. the YouTube and Twitter as well. I only do. I only do the Facebook and Facebook and Facebook and Facebook and Facebook. All right, we're back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Grow Omaha is back uh, for our final segment. We are live at the Waterford Building in the Fountain Ridge Development, 192nd and West Dodge Road. It's the building with the big fountain when you drive by on West Dodge. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the lightning round. Uh, you've all been waiting for it because we talk about so many things. And we first want to thank Turner Construction for making the lightning round possible. Uh, Turner Construction 
the, you know, they've had their Omaha office down in the Mastercraft building for a while, but they're getting so big here that they have to build an office warehouse in Sarpy County where they have room for their people and their equipment because they're doing so many projects around here. Turner Construction, you know the story if you've been listening to us. They're from New York. They came here to do the massive Sarpy County data center on Highway 50, but now they're doing like big projects, medium projects, little projects. While they continue to build the massive data center. Yeah, they, they, there's no slowing down on that thing. Phase five, phase six. Yeah, phase 463. Anyway, uh, thank you to Turner Construction uh, for um, doing so much to build up Omaha, to train uh, people to join the trades so that we have enough of a workforce to make all of this construction boom we have locally possible and for everything else they do for Grow Omaha and for the whole metro area. All right, well, let's get into it, Trenton. Uh, the first piece of news is that we have an official opening date for Gather Omaha. This Down is, in the old market. I've been waiting for this. I can't wait to go try this place. This is out of Jackson Hole, Wyoming. It'll be their second location. But you realize it's actually the owners are Omaha natives, uh, which is part of the reason I imagine that explains it. opening here. But... They're going to do this thing down in the basement where they're going to have grow lights. Now, this is completely legitimate grow lights, folks. Uh, but these are um, going to be aquaponic, or, I, I think that's the word. Um, but they can grow all Hydro sorts. Hydroponic and aquaponic? That works. Uh, I, uh, ponic. How about that? But uh, you can actually go down there and, uh, and, and you can watch plants grow. No, I, you probably wouldn't want to do that because that's a slow right. process. But you can be down there and they... And they'll even, like, serve drinks or whatever if you want to go see the grow area down in the basement. Nice. And, and this, of course, this space is famous because it was destroyed, what, six years ago? In yeah. the Ems pub fire? Absolutely. And is the last part of that to reopen, or one of the last parts of that to reopen. And so um, that'll be a, a great, great addition. Now, um, Salsa Ritas was a short-lived fast food concept that was located at 510 South 72nd Street, just a little bit north of Nebraska Furniture Mart. It and started as a, uh, a uh, Taco John's, right? That, I think it was a Taco John's. That building was built by Taco John's. Yeah. And, and they then turned it over to Sauceritos. And Sauceritos was uh, not there terribly long, but now it's going to become a Pepper Jack's. And, uh, you know, the Pepper Jack's has the Phillies and all that sort of thing. So I'm, Trenton, sensing a new... Focus for Pepper Jacks. Freestanding with a drive through Bingo. And they did, a, I, I think, a, a remarkable job on that KFC just north of 132nd and West Center Road. That's open now. And uh, it, it, was, it was pretty impress impressive. Uh, uh, RMR Builders, uh, local, has been doing their construction. They did a great job. So we have a new restaurant. It's actually more of a, a coffee place uh, called The Beanery. The Beanery actually is in the metro area. They've got, uh, I don't know, a handful of stores. But they're going to build a new location of The Beanery, and they're going to build it out of shipping containers. But don't worry, it's not going to look like nasty shipping containers because they're going to have a painted, logoed, outdoor seating, indoor seating. I'm looking at an architectural rendering of it. Uh, right here and it is it is really cool and this is going to be on the west side of 168th and maybe a couple blocks south of giles yeah congrats, congratulations to uh to maddie grave in our office for uh, representing them and uh yeah i can't wait to try it because i don't live too terribly far from there so i'm gonna have to pop down there and try it once it once it opens the Brownie Bar, located at 12th and Leavenworth Street, plans to add a second store in a yet-to-be-announced West Omaha location. They're targeting three zip codes in west-west central Omaha. And this place bakes fresh brownies but allows customers to choose their toppings the way you would choose toppings for an ice cream sundae. Wow. And this has nothing to do with CBD or... Uh... Well, it is or, kind of funny that you... Delta 8 or anything like that, does it? It's kind of funny that you mentioned that, because earlier we were talking about a grow light inside the gather. Now we're talking about a brownie bar. Both places are completely legitimate. Excellent. As far as I know. Uh, Brickway, which is a popular brewery located in the old market, won three awards at the American Distilling Institute Conference in Louisville, Kentucky. So congratulations to Brickway. And the legendary... Stella's Bar and Grill, which uh, has been in Bellevue for 16,000 years, 
uh, ranked number seven on Travel Magazine's list of the seven best burgers in the USA. All without plates. Just put your burger on a napkin. Did you make it down there yesterday? No. I was going to. So, okay. So, I was going to go to (laughs) Stella's yesterday. So, I sent a note to, I'm going to say there, and I'm going to call them out right here. Todd Schneiderwin, Brian Hartman, Trenton Magan, and Jorge Sotolongo in the office. I said, fellas, I'm going to Stella's on Friday. Come join me for lunch. Not a single one of them had time to go have lunch with me. In fairness, I was showing my new listing at, at, at 12.30 and at one forty five. Where the hell are your priorities? Exactly. Business or lunch at Stella's with your old buddy Jeff. At any rate, so can we go some other time? Absolutely. All right. I read about this thing. I love Stella's. I haven't been there in like, what, two years maybe. And uh, so we, with the next couple of weeks, we're going down to Stella's. Fair enough. Seven best, seventh best burger in the USA, according to Travel Magazine. Um, got some restaurants that are closing. Not, we gonna, we're going to end on a sad note. Uh, some, some restaurants are closing. Uh, wheat Fields in the Old Market, Fuddruckers at 72nd and Dodge, and Romeo's at 29th and Farnham. Goodbye. Uh, thanks for the memories to those three restaurants. Absolutely. And with that, we are pretty much wrapping up our time today. That is your lightning round, which is brought to you by Turner Construction. Turner Construction is building for the future. What a great show this has been. We have certainly enjoyed R&R Realty's warm hospitality inside this beautiful 180,000-square-foot 180, uh, water field building. That's it for this week. I'm Jeff Beals. And I'm Trenton Maggot. You've been listening to Grow Omaha on News Radio 1110 KFAB. Okay, I couldn't hear the music at the end, so sorry if I was talking too long. Okay, all righty. Thanks for everything, Scott. See you Monday morning. Thanks, bud. If you like this video, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And remember, Grow Omaha is not just media. This is a mission. We are trying to build up Omaha and make it an even better place. We can only do that with your help. Share this video with your friends, neighbors, and family.